uh, getting ready to do a walkthrough around Hero, Hero's back, and uh, running amazing. Uh, but what we're going to do today is walk through the car and uh, show you all the cool stuff that's on this car. There's lots of mods and lots of great things that are working, so uh, let's do this. Let's check out the car. All right, first things first. Mods on Hero 2, 2.0. Um, you can see behind me the, uh, the lights. You can work on my pointing. The lights. We've got actually custom halos on these lights. So the inside halo works as an indicator. The outside halo, the larger one, actually works as the um, daytime running light. And then for your regular lights, um, regular beams and high beams. The one other kind of cool thing here too is, can't really pick it up on the video very well, but if we check this out, we've actually got custom color on the uh, indicator. All right, now we're on the lights. Uh, got the Valente, Valente rear tail light. One solid piece, looks sick when it's breaking. And then the indicator arrow on the LEDs, pretty cool. talk wheels and tires. Raise wheels. These are the Gram lights. Um, it's actually a pretty unique setup. If you try to find right now a 12 spoke, they're pretty hard to come by. Um, they've got all different uh, wheels on their website, but um, you know, wanted to keep it uh, in line with the uh, 86 tradition, Japanese wheels. And then for tires, This is the Nitto NT05. Um, this is probably their highest end uh, sport, I won't call it a race tire, but sport tire. And uh, the setup on this car is very unique. So the, uh, the raised wheels, we've got 19 inch wheel. And as far as specking out the tires, I've got a 235 on the front. And then on the rear, we actually went pretty wide. I don't know if I can get a good shot of this under here, but uh, it's a 275 on the rear. So if you measure that out, it's almost 11 inch tire on the rear and pretty much eliminates any of the slipping issues you had before, um, especially when we look at the tune that I've got set up with the Sprint Booster. Check this out. All right. Sprint Booster. Uh, if anyone saw the last video after I picked up the car, the first thing I wanted to do was test out the Sprint Booster settings. Um, and so how the Sprint Booster works is it's a connection to your throttle. Um, this car, of course, has an electronic throttle. And so what it does is it has three modes, um, basically an off mode, so you're in factory mode. Um, the medium mode is a medium aggressiveness on the throttle. And then there is uh, the high aggressive mode, which is, uh, which is a lot of fun. And you know, I've talked about it in the video. If you're commuting or driving around a normal day, um, you know, your first gear becomes pretty much unusable because it revs at an, a ridiculous rate. Um, you're pretty much at a running RPM 4,000 um, before you step on the gas. So not for all the time, but uh, for performance, fantastic. Um, and it keeps you out of that flat spot between 3,000 and 4,000 that the um, 86 is known for. So all I have here, be hard to pick up on this video, but I've got a switch here and off is no light. Red is the aggressive setting. Green is the medium setting, but still boosted uh, quite a bit more acceleration, but not so aggressive in the first gear. Awesome. <laughs> So number one, engine air intake, um, so much more sound than the uh, than the old TRD intake I had on the other car. 
and crazy noise if I set the boost up higher when I'm on the, uh, the booster setup. Cusco, Cusco Strut Tower Bars. Um, these guys have an amazing website with so much cool stuff. And I'll drop in a quick shot of the, uh, the bars in the back because we have the same. And then right down here, the teens adjustable coilovers. Um, this is where we've been messing with some settings and just trying to figure out what is the right mode for me to drive all the time. Uh, we've gone from the hardest setting up a couple of degrees. Um, they tell me this set has about uh, seven settings. So uh, we'll see what we can get out of that. And uh, that's a pretty short tour up here. There's not much going on under the hood. The rest is uh, all boxer. All right, around the back. We'll see if the, uh, get a good shot of this. They did an amazing job putting in this tower bar. Again, it's the, uh, the Cusco bars. Um, look at how they did the finish here. So awesome. Always fun to have a little surprise in the trunk. But uh, I can tell you though, with cornering, especially with the, uh, the sprint booster setup um, and the wider tire and the 19 inch wheels, um, you put this combination together with the coilovers and it's amazing setup. Cornering like a demon. If you haven't heard that noise before, that's the TRD exhaust. So that's actually a factory option, um, but it's amazing. I had the same exhaust on my last car, but definitely the air intake on mine, the engine air intake, uh, gives it a little more buzz. It's got a little more uh, volume for sure. a quick visit from our friends at the Transit Authority. Um, apparently you're not allowed to uh, shoot on transit property without a permit. Oops. <laughs> All right, now here's some silly randomness that's uh, kind of cool, but uh, things I probably didn't talk about. Cybon, carbon hood. The air intake actually runs the opposite direction of uh, the one I had before. Sig a little more unique. I don't think it's quite, you know, so Subi looking. <laughs> no offense to Subaru people. Um, in the custom wrap, so anywhere you see the black, black mirror, and then check this out. Blacked out 86. I thought about actually trimming that around and leaving it silver, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but same story, the black wrap carries it along underneath the door sill, right around to the teardrop. Has a really cool look, um, especially with the tint. We've run 20% uh, tint on here, sides, full back. I think it gives it a really cool look. Um, the other thing too is with the lights, we talked about the lights. The dark tint on my lights isn't actually the, uh, if you've seen the, the one I had my old car was like a paste on uh, decal. The lights have actually been uh, painted. And so this is a custom treatment that gives you that really gray, you know, kind of monotone look. Really looks cool with the halos on. Um, more fun. <laughs> That's a quick walkthrough of all of the, uh, the highlights. Uh, not to mention some custom decals that we have put in here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, honestly, as people talk about mods and what are they going to do with the, uh, their FRS or their GT86 or BRZs, um, really tires, wheels, suspension, um, 
the Cusco bars, I think they really go all together. And so it's easy for me to say that. Everyone just likes to flip their wheels and say, hey, look at my car. But really, if you want performance, if you really want performance, go for the bigger wheel. Um, and the Gram lights, honestly, it's such a light wheel. Um, I'd love to see how much they, uh, they save me in weight. Um, but also with a, with a bigger tire, with more grip. Go to a coilover suspension so you can adjust your damping. I'm not at the hardest setting to get the most out of the car. Um, I drive pretty fast and so uh, I need a little bit of cushion, especially when I'm hitting bumps at speed. And then uh, really the tune. The tune is the next thing because I don't know if I wouldn't have done it on the stock car or, you know, my car, my other car had some TRD options, but uh, getting that tune set up really made a difference in being able to customize my car and being able to get, you know, the way I want it to drive when I want it to. Because of course the, uh, the settings are variable. And so three different modes and uh, you know, you pick your day. <laughs> so back to the rain. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to uh, click the like button down below, love that. Uh, leave some comments. If you have any comments about the mods, that'd be great. If you have some experience or if you've done different things, love to hear it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm just happy I've got any subscribers, honestly. I'm having a lot of fun with these cars. And you can see I probably don't take it as seriously as some of the other people on YouTube. So uh, just get out there and have some fun. These are great cars. We'll see you again soon.